I'm like really excited about this. They have thousands of chopsticks in there. It's overwhelming. I think they turned out so cool. Oh my gosh, it is a good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to the beautiful city of Kyoto. Today we are adventuring, what, north? Did we come north? Have we gone north? We came We're straight west. <laughs> we were north yesterday. <laughs> to the Monkey Mountain. Now some of you might be wondering, why do they call it the Monkey Mountain? We're gonna show you. <laughs> they got monkeys there. <laughs> We're really stoked about this. I think Monkey Mountain is one of these just right back here. We just jumped off the train here at Arashiyama Station. That's the town we're in right now. Kind of on the outskirts of the main area of Kyoto. Very quick train ride out here and we're gonna go see if we can have Some a little monkeys. close encounter. <laughs> <laughs> When we first got to Japan, in case you were curious how we've been getting around, taxis are majorly expensive here. They do have Uber here, also majorly expensive. So we have been using this guy. This is the Passmo card. It's essentially like a contactless payment system that you can use on the trains, the buses, even some vendors will take it. Basically like having a credit card that works here in Japan. The only thing annoying about it is to put money on it, you have to have cash. I wish I could just put some money on it with my card, but you have to have cash. We've been getting all all over the city with these puppies. And here in Kyoto, they actually have the best bus system. We've been taking the buses around quite a bit. You just tap it when you get off, it charges you a flat rate, about buck 50, buck 75 or something like that. They've been the best. Like, I don't know how we would have survived here in Japan without these bad boys. We have made it to the top of Monkey Mountain and it is filled with monkeys. It's so cool. <laughs> They're everywhere. Yeah, these are Japanese macaque monkeys and they have the beautiful red faces. They're incredible looking so much different than any of the monkeys we have seen throughout Southeast Asia in the past month or two. They got red faces, red bums. They're <laughs> so cute. There are big ones, small ones. <laughs> There's so many monkeys up here and they have this rad pathway up through the forest. This is beautiful. They even have one of the coolest viewpoints of Kyoto back here that we've seen the entire time we've been here. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to that. I'm focused on the monkeys. <laughs> that view's amazing. It is a beautiful view. They also have some beautiful scenic pathways up through the hills here. It's a really stunning area. It only costs about four US dollars to get in. This building right here has been one of my favorite parts. There's a lot of activity back here because this is where the monkeys are getting fed. It's kind of funny actually. They'll put the humans inside the cage because the monkeys are all free here. They're just roaming. They're wild monkeys, but they know there's food here, so they kind of hang out here. But they'll cage in all the humans and you can buy some peanuts, apples to give them, and they'll hand it to them through the gates. So all the monkeys are kind of hanging out right around here, just eating, fighting over food. It's pretty fun to watch. We've been standing here for quite a while. It's the most entertaining thing ever. It's just fun to watch them crawl up and down this building. They run along the top there. They perch right at the peak there. They fight over for food. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, he didn't even get it. Come back, bud. I'll give you one. There you go. Yeah. Oh, hi. You come back? Are you back? There you go. Next. What about you? You want some? There you go. 
Okay, we had to come inside here to do a little bit of feeding. We got apples, the bag's almost gone because it's too much fun, I wanna go get more. They just jump up here and stick their hands through. Here you go, honey. And then they eat the apple. <laughs> Babe, she's hungry. <laughs> she's hungry. You're teasing her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. These guys are great. We went through that little bag of apples so fast. Way too fast. How much was I? I feel like we need to get another That was 100 yen, so a little less than less a dollar. Than a to feed these cuties. They have peanuts too, maybe we should do peanuts. <laughs> I love watching them break the peanut show. We got two fighting out here. I love it, they have so much attitude. They really do have so much attitude. Like this one's just chilling. Uh, he wants more. I just kind of love how we're caged in right now. Oh yeah, they and cage the, monkeys the humans. Are free. It's so cool, I love it. It's getting warm. <laughs> it's frigid. My nose is running. <laughs> They just did a feeding. They basically walked through here and just threw tons of nuts everywhere. And there's like a mad monkey scramble. They went everywhere trying to grab it stuff. Amazing. <laughs> it was hilarious. They're playing this funny like monkey music. What's that song? <laughs> this guy right here, I think, is our favorite. He's the alpha. He's the alpha of the group. They said he's like the most dominant male here. The and biggest then for sure. The one right under him, I think, is the oldest female here. She's 32 years old. That's crazy. She's the grandma the forest. <laughs> he has a big pile of nuts right on the branch next to him. No one is touching him. Yeah, he definitely got the most. No one is bothering him at all. They know he's the alpha. Shoveling it. He's just shoveling it. He's just going to town. <laughs> That was awesome. That was incredible. Monkey 10 out Mountain. Of 10. Recommend Monkey Mountain. <laughs> yeah, this was absolutely awesome. Definitely feeding him was cool, just watching him play. But now we gotta hike back down this mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Soft serve is everywhere. Literally, we see it everywhere. So we figured we would try it. Our nose are running. I can't feel my fingers. It's freezing. But we wanted to get some chocolate soft serve, so we got it. It looks like very airy. It's good. I don't know how to describe it. It's just airy. So we just made it down the street here in Arashiyama, grabbed a few snacks along the way, and we're about to enter the bamboo forest. Bamboo forest. Love bamboo. I love They basically have this pathway going straight through this bamboo forest. We've been in a couple bamboo forests before in our lives. Nothing like this one. No, this is by far the coolest one. They're thick. They're crazy They're really thick. big. They're thick and they're tall and they're so many of them. Like it's just like perfectly in a row dense. I don't know how to describe it. It's just so cool. Well, it's so dense that it's not even nighttime, but it's dark in here. It's pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredibly cool. I'm gonna keep going to the end. It's not incredibly long. So it's definitely worth coming and checking out, but does not take that much time. Maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes. <laughs> Five if you're a really fast walker. <laughs> We have heard all about the fluffy souffle pancakes that you have to try here in Japan. We came to Happy Pancake here in Kyoto. I'm talking very quietly because it's very quiet in here and it's kind of awkward. <laughs> But we're so excited. We got the OG fluffy pancake here. I've heard it's very eggy. And by heard, I mean I've read. And then we've got, I don't even know what this is, but I'm excited about this one. This looks like oh, weedy. Yeah. I don't know. I'm excited to try them though. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's almost like cotton candy. Like it just like melts and goes away. Whoa. It's like air. Let me try again. I wish you could like feel this. It's very eggy. I'm not a big eggy pancake person. 
That's weird. You go to chew, but you like don't need to chew. It's like gone. There's like nothing to chew. That's funky. You gotta try it. It's good. Uh, that's what you're talking about. Whoa, it's so soft. I know. Do you see what I mean? Wow, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> this is not like a normal pancake no, at all. not at all. You're right, it just kind of dissolves. It's like cotton candy, it like dissolves in your mouth. Yeah, it's delicious though. It's really good. I think I'm gonna be able to eat a lot of this though, <laughs> just because they aren't very dense. <laughs> To the east side of Kyoto. We're in the neighborhood of Higashiyama and it is amazing. It's so cool. It feels so Japanese. Like more so than anywhere else I feel like we've been in Japan so far. <laughs> Seriously, there's so much culture up here. The streets are just beautiful. All the roofs. <gasps> chopsticks! Oh, we found chopsticks. I'm on the hunt for some cool chopsticks. <laughs> we don't... I've been converted. I love eating with chopsticks. <laughs> we don't have a lot of souvenirs from our travels, but I think we're gonna have to leave Japan with some chopsticks <laughs> and maybe some spoons. Maybe. That you eat ramen with. <laughs> Let's check these out. Hey guys, receipt. We've been in Asia for a few months now and I'm fully converted to the chopsticks. I love them, I love them. They're gonna have our name on them and I'm even more excited about that. We got Michelle in Japanese and Daniel in Japanese cause you know, those are our names. <laughs> I'm like really excited about this. They have thousands, okay maybe just hundreds of chopsticks in there. Like it's overwhelming, but you can only engrave on like certain ones. So that helped narrow it down a little bit. I think that we chose the most beautiful ones that you can engrave on. They're so cool, I'm so excited. I'm geeking out over this. Right now. Oh <laughs> we figured while we're waiting for our chopsticks to be made, we would come and try some food at Nishiki Market. This market is so long, it goes for like, I don't know how long, it feels like at so least a mile, <laughs> but so many, so, blocks. so many blocks. And it's just straight. This land with shops, tons of food. We're gonna go try something. <laughs> Big piece of imitation crab right here. It looks like real crab, but apparently it's imitation crab. Look at that. Alright, I'm trying to break it apart without dropping it all over the ground. Maybe I'll just bite it. Does it taste like crab? It's really good. It honestly tastes like crab. We got mayo on here. This nice spicy seasoning soy sauce. <laughs> What do you think? Not bad, right? It's literally just like crab. It's delicious. I kind of want to go get more. I know they have little crab sushi rolls and everything. That's good. That's really good. Okay, guys. They're done. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. I think they turned out so cool. Drop your guesses below. Which one says Michelle and which one says Daniel? Okay, now I'm going to tell you. Do you know? Yeah, I know. I know how I remember my name. Oh, There's a very cool. distinct way. So this one says Michelle, Michelle, and this says Daniel. And how I know that it's my name is because there's a smiley face in it. These are so cool. Honestly, these might be my favorite souvenir that we've gotten since we've been traveling. So <laughs> cool. I'm very glad we did this. Right here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I shade of shower candy. <laughs> it's very shower. Can smell it. <laughs> Guys, another successful day in Kyoto on the books. This place is amazing. We've absolutely loved it. We've absolutely loved Japan, period. This place has been incredible. Sorry, let me swallow the mic. Can I add anything? Listen, I was, it was a really chewy, like now and later, high chew type candy, but it was a sour one. And it was that so the blue soda that's like famous here. What's it called? I don't know. It starts with an R. Anyway, we have loved Japan. We have loved Kyoto. I just love Japan. This place is so cool. We've only been to like two cities, two of like the major cities, I would say, and both have been 
absolutely incredible. Love, love, love them. But our Japan days are numbered. They're so numbered. They are numbered. You guys, we are actually leaving Japan in a couple days and we're not going to tell you where we're off to next, but get excited. <laughs> guys, we pulled the trigger on something kind of crazy. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. You're not gonna wanna miss this. <laughs> It's gonna be pretty exciting. Get down in the comments if you have any guesses of what maybe could be next for us. <laughs> We'd love to hear what you think. In the meantime, go watch some old videos and we'll see you next time. <laughs> see you everyone.